By this point in the semester, everyone should be able to change the default color settings or color space via the color settings dialog box to North America Pre-Press 2. So this video should be a little bit of a review. I would like to spend the majority of this video talking about how you can convert existing images to adopt that new profile. The number one thing that students get wrong over and over again on creative projects in Art1280 is using the correct color space. A student will submit their file, all of their Photoshop stuff will be included and it will be great, but they'll lose five points because the color profile does not match the required color profile. So then they'll take the file, they'll go back to Photoshop, they'll change your color space, they'll send me a screenshot showing that they um, adopted the new color space, but the file itself still has the wrong color space. And so in this video, I'll show you how to troubleshoot that. Let's jump over to Photoshop. I have Photoshop open, but I don't have any files open. That's because the color space settings are not tied to any one file. They are tied to Photoshop as a whole. My preset or my default applies to Photoshop and any documents I open in Photoshop. And so without any documents open, I'm going to go to the edit menu and choose color settings. You can see that right now the preset settings are for North America general purpose 2, which sets the RGB color space as sRGB and the CMYK color space as US web coded swap. For our class, I want you to make sure that anytime you're using an RGB image, you're using Adobe RGB 998 because the color space is a little bit bigger. And anytime you're using CMYK, it is US web coded swap. The easiest way to set this is to change your preset from North America General Purpose 2 to North America Pre-Press 2. Now you can see that the RGB color space will be Adobe RGB 1998. Go ahead and hit OK. This only sets your default settings in Photoshop from now and moving forward. So if you were using the old color profile and creating documents, those other documents use the old color settings. And so if they're an RGB image, they are going to be an sRGB. The way that you can correct this is one, first you'll go to Photoshop and choose edit color settings and you will double and triple check to make sure you have the right color profile set which for our class is North America Pre-Press 2. Once you have that set, you can open any images that you want to make sure are using that color profile. So I can open up all of these images in Photoshop. Any images that do not have the correct color profile, I will receive a prompt and the prompt will say, what do you want to do? You are not using the correct profile. Um, you said you wanted Adobe RGB 998, but this image is using sRGB. Make sure you choose to convert the document's colors to the working space. Repeat that for any image that you get the prompt for. Once you have it open, you have to save the changes. This is the step that I think a lot of students miss. If I close out of this document right now, I do not get a prompt that says you need to save it because I didn't do any editing to the file. But if I simply choose File Save, I'll Oops, I'll do it on all of these images here. I'm not only saving the JPEG, because I opened a bunch of JPEGs, I'm also, this one doesn't need to be saved. I'm also saving that new color settings. If I don't do that, Photoshop's not going to remember. Now if I close out of all of those images, remember I fixed all of them except for one I didn't save. If I open these images again, in Photoshop, multiple images will open before I receive a prompt on the one, I think it was the Bryce Canyon image, on the one Bryce Canyon image that I didn't save. So I have to again accept the new color space and select OK. And then I have to make sure I hit File Save so that it adopts the correct color profile. Now if I close out of these images and I open them again, every single one of them should have the correct color profile set. I don't have any prompt, I don't have any issues.